Hello, my name is Abe Mashney, and today's question is, can you be charged with drug trafficking without ever selling any drugs? And the answer is yes, both in the state and Kentucky criminal justice system. And so let me explain. First, we're going to talk about the federal law, and that's going to be located in 21 U.S.C. section 841. It prohibits and makes unlawful for any person knowingly or intentionally to manufacture, distribute, or dispense, or possess with the intent to manufacture, distribute, or dispense a controlled substance. And so um, the key phrase there is, is going to be possess with the intent to manufacture, dispense, or distribute. Um, the Kentucky statute mirrors that. And that's going to be located in 218A, 1412. It says that a person is guilty of trafficking in a controlled substance in the first degree when he or she knowingly and unlawfully traffics in, and then it lists cocaine, meth, uh, pills, and fentanyl. And so in order to know what trafficking is in Kentucky, you have to go to its definition, and that's located in the same chapter of 218A, just in a different section. And so section 56, traffic, uh, means to manufacture, distribute, dispense, sell, transfer, or possess with the intent to manufacture, distribute, dispense, or uh, a control substance. And so what that, that key phrase is, uh, is with the intent. And so what officers are going to use to justify a trafficking charge rather than a drug possession charge they're going to be looking for individual baggies, whether the drugs were, were individually wrapped uh, to sell to other people. They're going to be looking at cash, whether you have a lot, uh, a large number of small denomination bills. Um, it's not illegal to, to possess cash, but if you've got enough of it, police officers are going to assume that, that you're drug trafficking. Um, and then another thing is a ledger a notebook talking about trafficking activities um, that's a little bit outdated but nowadays you can get that information uh, on a phone and so if anybody asked it to look at your phone they're going to be looking for text messages notes and or pictures on the phone and so it's always the best idea to to deny consent there make them get a search warrant to go through that phone uh, they're going to be looking for social media posts whether it be Snapchat, Instagram, um, anything that's going to be indicative to justify a, a trafficking charge rather than a possession charge. They're also going to be looking at quantity. And um, this is probably the most important uh, thing that they're going to be looking for because there's a difference between personal use and, uh, and, and the quantity of drugs that could justify the possession with the intent to distribute it. And so what an officer will do, if it's, if it's borderline or, or if it's a large quantity of drugs, they're going to come into court and they're going to say, in my training and experience, this amount of drugs is indicative of trafficking and not personal use. Finally, the last thing they're going to be looking for is statements. Obviously, you should not confess to any trafficking activity when asked, or um, they're going to be looking at a third party on whether or not they're uh, snitching on you. And so lastly, we're going to be looking at controlled buys. And now, obviously, if, if they walk in with a video camera and you're selling it, then, then that's going to be hard to justify personal use. However, um, as far as controlled buys are concerned, they could be, you could be sitting in the area and then they could, um, they could charge you with conspiracy, even though you're not the person that's selling it. You're just there, uh, maybe facilitation to trafficking, um, or, or knowing that it's, it's happening under your roof. And so with all of those said, if you have any questions about trafficking charges here in Kentucky or in federally, in the Eastern District of Kentucky, please give us a call at 859-259-0727. And again, thank you for watching.